Hello! Welcome to my ASMR channel. My name is GB, and this channel is fully dedicated to ASMR content. If you saw the title of this video, I'm gonna assume that this might be your very, very first time clicking on an ASMR video, or maybe you've tried ASMR in the past and you hated it, or you weren't too sure about it, or you just wanna know more about what ASMR is. I have a different video on my channel called What the Heck is ASMR, which is more of like, um, very uh, overproduced on purpose, kind of just silly but informative video explaining exactly what ASMR is and what it's supposed to be and examples of it, and I can list that in the description box below. But this video is actually inspired by the third Bill, who does a video series called Trying to Stan. Um, he said a lot of very interesting things in his video about his first experience watching ASMR, and it reminded me that I have been watching ASMR for just about 10 years now, and I've my channel itself is four and a half years old with like 700 videos created. So I actually kind of forgot what it might feel like to somebody who has never l listened to ASMR or tried ASMR on their own. So I wanted to make this video a little bit more beginner friendly. Um, as you can hear, I'm talking in just a more soft spoken voice, but even this is pretty loud for ASMR in general. One of the first things that the third bill kind of reacted to was the whispering, and that maybe was too intense for somebody to just come into with headphones on, volume up to hear somebody whispering in your ear. So I wanted to just start this video with almost normal level speaking, um, and kind of like when you're getting a procedure done or like getting your hair cut or something like that, it's nice when if it's your first time and you don't know what to expect, they explain to you what they're going to do, why they're doing it, before they do it. So that's what this video is going, going to be a little bit more like. Um, I'm going to tell you why I'm doing the things that I'm going to do, what to expect, and um, sort of give you a warning before I just jump in. Um, I think ASMR out of context can turn people off from the concept of ASMR in general, which makes me sad because there is so much different ASMR content out there that I think there is something for everyone. It's just a lot of looking and searching and trying to figure out what works for you. So I'm going to try to give you a couple of <laughs> different triggers, theories, and examples that hopefully you can walk away with feeling more confident in exploring the ASMR space because it is rapidly growing and there are thousands and thousands of creators now. It's crazy. I used to be able to name every single creator on YouTube. Um, yeah, it's, it's seriously blown up. So maybe you've been avoiding ASMR because... <laughs> It's a little bit scary. Here we go. I'm gonna try to hold your hand through it. We're gonna be okay. First, I just wanna talk about what ASMR is and kind of how it originated. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. All that means is that some people with a certain stimuli that triggers them, whether it's audio, visual, smell, touch, it doesn't just have to be sounds, whispering, tapping. They get this tingling sensation, and that's what a lot of people have similarly described it as. In the back of their head, back of the neck, some people get it down their arms, in their fingers. I personally do get ASMR tingles when something triggers my ASMR. So people call different stimuli, whether it's a sound or a visual, they call them triggers. And these triggers are supposed to give you tingles. That is the base function of how ASMR originated. Good examples of this is like when your friend would like run their hands down your back in school, um, personal attention things, getting your face painted or something. Um, listening to somebody speak, um, public speaking, they have a really nice voice. You might have at one time in your life 
felt really relaxed for some reason. You get a tingling, your arms are kind of heavy. That's ASMR. And so people set out to replicate it purposefully instead of just watching videos that maybe would trigger their ASMR. Now there's a whole genre that is supposed to trigger your ASMR. Obviously, the tingles are very pleasant. It makes you feel relaxed. It makes you feel very happy. And um, that is sort of what the entire genre on YouTube is based around. However, I think that the genre of ASMR has really transcended just people trying to give you tingles. Um, a lot of the triggers that are used to trigger ASMR are very relaxing. They're quieter, they're intentional, they're soothing, they're satisfying, and so it's very easy to use ASMR videos to help you fall asleep, to put in the background while you're working, to just generally de-stress, just for entertainment value. Um, so it's not just about getting the tingles. A lot of people who watch ASMR videos have never felt even the tiny tingle in their entire life, and that's okay. Um, so I have videos on my channel that are more aimed for giving you tingles. I have some that are purposefully meant to make you sleep um, or fall asleep. I have ones that are funny and just supposed to be ASMR entertainment. Um, it doesn't all have to be soft whispering or soothing slow sounds that is just a certain type of asmr um you could certainly get asmr just from me speaking at this almost normal level that's still asmr you don't have to be whispering you don't have to be moving slowly there's a whole subgenre of the fast and aggressive asmr where people move and tap and um, make sounds very rapidly um, which actually triggers my ASMR a lot. As you can tell, there's a lot There's a lot you can deep dive and sort of go around in, but I always like to mention that because some people think that, oh, ASMR is just whispering. So let's start with a few triggers to test them out. We're going to go nice and slow, and I will explain what I'm going to do before I do it. You can wear headphones if you want. You don't have to. You can play it out of your phone speakers or whatever you feel comfortable with. I am currently listening to my own microphone so that I can hear the sounds that I'm making back in real time. And this microphone that I'm using has two, sort of like two microphones on each side. So if I move around the microphone, it will, you'll notice this more in headphones, it will sound like I'm moving in your space. And this can be effective but not completely necessary. You can use any microphone you want for ASMR. This is really effective when you're trying to really immerse somebody. If they close their eyes, they can really feel like they're in the space as I move back and forth around the microphone. Um, so I want to do something with this wooden bowl. This is going to be your first trigger. Okay. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down and soften, 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 soften my speaking just so it becomes a little more relaxing. It's almost at a whisper. This tone is typically the more soft-spoken that you'll hear. Um, you're still getting the voice. It's not a whisper, but it's very, very low, almost like you're in a library or something. And it can kind of dip into a whisper. So I'm going to take these two bowls and I'm going to rub them against each other and it makes a pretty cool sound. Um, so it's going to go around your head and around your ears to give you an immersive feeling. Um, so you can close your eyes if you think it's cool. If it's too much, don't worry about it. I'm just going to do it for about 10 seconds so you can hear what I'm talking about. So I'm going to push them together like this, and then I'm going to move them around. Like that. So that's a really cool sound you can do. Um, 
The next one that's really easy is tapping. You just take your hand and I'm going to use my fingernails to tap on the wood. Um, a lot of people really like wood sounds in ASMR because it sounds solid but natural. Um, it makes a very distinct sound without being too harsh. So I'm going to take my fingers and tap onto the bowl around your ears so you can hear what tapping sounds like. You can tap on the bottom, you can tap on like this ridge part here, on the inside, and it all sounds about the same. Some people prefer really fast tapping, so I'll give you an example of fast tapping right now. Some people don't like when you use your fingernails, they just like when you use the tips of your fingers. So I'll give you that example right now. And as I move this closer to the microphone, it's gonna sound like it's closer to your ear. So I put it really close to the microphone, this is gonna sound really close to your ear. Farther away, it sounds farther, like that. And then I bring it closer to your other ear, it's gonna sound like it's close. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. I want to give you a visual trigger next because I do think that it's... A lot of people think that ASMR is just sounds. And I kind of want to talk about the fact that I'm giving you a lot of eye contact right now. That's something that the third Bill addressed in his video, which was, it feels very intimate um, for me to be addressing and looking you in the eye, even though I'm just looking into my camera lens in my film room. It feels like I'm looking you in the eye. Um, you don't have to look me in the eye. <laughs> you are free to turn off the video, look elsewhere in the screen, whatever you'd like, I tend to look into the camera lens because I like to address my audience. I like the aspect of personal attention in ASMR. So when I'm just like looking at myself in the viewfinder, this just feels a little lame, you know? Otherwise I could just ignore the camera and just like do my triggers over here, you know? Just not look at all. But a lot of, um, a lot of YouTubers utilize eye contact. It's probably just more obvious in ASMR videos because it's so quiet. You're so aware of everything that's going on. Makes sense. This is fun. This is like a seminar. Okay, so I want to do a visual trigger. Um, a good visual trigger is something that you've probably done before. Um, I'm gonna my voice a little bit because I realize I'm talking pretty loudly. When you are at the eye doctor or you're just getting your vision checked, your doctor may have put like a finger or a pen or something and had you follow fingers, follow pens, follow the light. Um, so let's use this expo marker. I'm gonna hold this up and I'm going to simulate like you're getting an eye exam because this is something that has very commonly come up in ASMR discussions that eye exams give people ASMR, myself included. So we can simulate that on a YouTube video so you can get ASMR without having to go to the eye doctor. Wahoo! So here is our marker and I'm going to ask you as if this is a real exam I'll say okay now I want you to just follow the tip of this marker with your eyes don't move your head so I'm just giving you some instructions and then I'm gonna move the marker and you can choose to actually follow it 
or not, whatever is comfortable for you. So, I would move it pretty slowly, being careful not to make it go off screen. And what a lot of people like is, in addition to this visual trigger, you can add on something called positive affirmations, which are just, they can be as simple as words like good, great, perfect, like a doctor would actually say in real life. So if I'm moving this marker, I can say good to the left, good, center, very nice. I'm going to move this closer to you, keep your eye on the marker, good. Perfect. Move it back. Now I'm going to move it in a circle. Just use your eyes to follow. Perfect. All right. Very good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get a little bit closer, if that's okay. All right. And I want to start whispering. If you hate whispering, <laughs> I'm going to start doing it. Just a warning.
going to switch back to soft speaking. All of these triggers, sounds, visuals, etc. can be combined to create something called role plays, which is where the video is fully immersed, the creator is fully pretending and acting that they are in a certain scenario, such as, easy example, an eye doctor role play. So, you would totally pretend, and I'm going to pretend that I'm an eye doctor now, you can have just a regular bedroom background, you could put up a green screen, you could actually shoot in an office to make it look as real as you'd like, but I'm going to walk in and pretend that I'm an eye doctor. Hi, my name's Dr. GB. Nice to meet you. Is this your first time with us? It is. I would love to get some information from you, if that's okay. Awesome. Alright, so I have this keyboard here, and I'm going to type in your information. Could you give me your first name, please? And your last name? Okay. And what's your date of birth? Okay. Do you wear contacts or glasses? Okay. And do you know your prescription? We'll be getting it today, but I just wanted to ask what you currently have. Okay. Left eye, right eye. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any history of eye disease in the family? Have you ever had to have eye surgery yourself? Okay. Alright. And how long do you wear your glasses or contacts every day? Okay. Okay, perfect. Alright, and now I'm breaking the roleplay, I would go on to do eye tests and things like that that can truly immerse you and give you a relaxing version of the eye doctor for ASMR purposes. <laughs> this is so funny to just kind of lay it out there in an explanation video, but hopefully this casual type video is helpful. What I'm going to do next is just give you a couple more examples of very basic triggers that will hopefully get you started on what you like um, sound-wise. They're a little bit visual as well, but um, the first is I have noticed, and many have noticed, that people in the community tend to prefer either wet sounds or dry sounds. If you hate the sound of like people's mouths, water, liquid, etc. You are not alone. A ton of people in the ASMR community only like dry sounds and I'll explain. Here's a very non-offensive wet sound. I'm gonna take this bottle of screen cleaner and I'm going to just kind of dump it back and forth so you can hear the liquid inside. I'm also going to actually use the spray portion, so I'm going to spray on this side, and I'll spray on this side. Here we go. I'll do it again. Yeah, so that's a pretty popular one. Something that is a dry sound would be one of my most famous popular Props. This is my toaster coaster. It is a cork coaster shaped like a piece of bread. And cork sounds really good when you tap on it, scratch it. So I'm going to be tapping and scratching this cork coaster.
some people will make videos surrounded or like just all about one trigger or one item. Some people will do trigger compilations where they do a bunch of triggers in a row. Um, obviously we talked about role plays. Possibility, very endless. Um, brushing. Brushing is very good. You'll see a lot of face brushing, again, just getting really close to the camera. Ear brushing, which means you would brush the actual microphone so it sounds like it's right in your ear. Um, so I want to try both of those, if that's okay. I want to try face brushing first, because it doesn't really make a lot of sound. Um, may I brush your face? Okay. So I'm going to take this, get close to your face, and brush down. I'm going to repeat that a couple times. Um, I'm going to go a little faster, more like how somebody might use a real makeup brush. Here we go. And then back to very slow down your face like this. Like that. Now the next would be ear brushing. This is the most I think a pretty intense sound because it's right up in the microphone sounding like it's very close to your ear. So I'll just do a couple times on each side of the microphone which should feel like your different ears. So I'm going to take the brush, put it near the microphone, and then brush down like this. I'll do it again. And then I'm going to do the other side, like this. And again. So that's more of a close-up trigger. Um, a lot of people like really close-up sounds. I'm going to do more right now by whispering. So this is very intense. Whispering very close to the microphone. I'm just going to count 1 to 10 on either side. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start on this side, whispering in your ear. 1, 2, 3, 4, A jar of dried flowers here. I'm going to shake it. Open it. People really like lid sounds. So you can put the lid back on. Tap on the top, take the lid back off. Lid back on, lid back off. The lid, the lid, the lid. Basically anything you can grab around your house is going to be a trigger. I have a loofah. I'm going to squeeze this and we're going to see what kind of sounds we can get from this material. Um, it should sound pretty cool if I do it very close to your ear. So here's far away. And 
And now here's close. Very different. Here are some scissors. I bought these online. They're like haircut scissors that um, I would never, ever cut my own hair. But these sound really good. So now I only use them for ASMR. I'm going to snip across the screen. Now I'm going to snip above your head, pretending like I'm cutting your hair. Like this. And now I'm going to snip very close to your ears, starting with this side. The other side. So somebody was filming um, a haircut video, and they wanted to feel like they were cutting your hair. I would put the microphone closer to the camera, so let's move it closer to the camera. And now I'm going to step forward, so I'm going to be pretty close to the camera. So here I go. Don't mean to get in your bubble. Um, now I'm very close. But this is how close somebody would actually be if they were cutting your hair. So I'm going to, oh, can I touch your hair? Thank you. I'm going to touch your hair. And we're going to do a little haircut. Pretending like we're cutting your hair. And I could get the brush back out and we could brush your hair. Uh, we could pretend that this was some product and spray it. And then you have a whole hair cutting role play. Alright, last but not least in this ASMR 101 video. I wanted to do a writing trigger. So here I have a whiteboard. I'm going to tap on it. And I'm just going to write, thank you. Thank you for watching. I don't even know if you can see that. <laughs> but as you can tell, there are tons and tons and tons of possibilities for ASMR, for sounds, for visuals, for role plays, for entertainment. Um, I'm going to link a couple of playlists, videos, etc. down in my description box. I hope you check them out. Again, there are so many ASMR creators on YouTube on all platforms really, but YouTube's a big one. Um, so I encourage you to check out their work. Maybe you don't like my voice, that is totally fine. We do not take that personally here. Um, and I'm going to end with a little finger fluttering, which is how I usually start my videos. I'm just going to rub my fingers together like this, but they're going to be like this, and you'll be able to hear, hear that. My fingers aren't dry. If you do this in real life, you'll tell, you can tell it makes a sound, but it's going to sound like little butterflies by your ears. Here we go. And I'll say, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope this was helpful, or useful, or if you're a veteran of ASMR, mildly entertaining. Good night, everybody. Enjoy your ASMR experience.